We have located a body who we believe to be Martonio Wilder located inside of the home. A young life gone too soon. The community left stunned. I was leaving yesterday for a job interview. She showed me a picture of the boy. Uh, have you seen uh, the mother? Okay. I said, have you seen my son? Hours later, I come back from my job interview, and it's a crime scene. We cannot get to school. We have my eight-year-old son run away last night. We all went to bed at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. <laughs> my back door was wide open. Had he done this before? <laughs> yeah, but we found him, though. He had jumped out my window before I found him on the side of my house. He just keeps trying to run away. I don't know why. He said he hated me. LaShonda Wilder and girlfriend Jonna Lowe both turning themselves separately Saturday evening after being on the run from Columbus police. I think it's a tragedy. This is the scene Friday night, hours after police were called to the 1000 block of Olmsted Avenue. Officers began looking for eight-year-old Martonio Wilder after his mom claimed she had not seen her son since he went to bed Thursday night. Officers say throughout the search, Wilder and Lowe became uncooperative during the search. The police report says LaShonda Wilder did not want a canine officer in her home. Neighbors in the area shocked. Even though he's up in heaven with God right now, he shouldn't be. He should be right down here being a boy playing. But instead, he's up in heaven. Police records show at 6.20 Friday evening they made the horrible discovery. The young boy was found dead in a trash bag in the attic. The mother and girlfriend leaving the scene without telling police. A brief Amber Alert was issued for Wilder's other two young children and canceled hours later after they were found safe. Lowe's mother, Mary Johnson, has been charged with obstructing justice. We have the 911 call Johnson made on June 28th, the day of the Amber Alert. The case that you have an Amber Alert out for, they had not You're at your house? Yes, I had a detective come here. He didn't ask about them. They can come by and, and, and get the kids because I'm not a family member or anything, you know, to them. I just know her because she dates my daughter. Both women are now in the Franklin County Jail. Police investigating this incident as a homicide, upgrading the charges for mother LaShonda Wilder to murder. Both Wilder and Lowe also charged with obstruction of justice. Neighbors in disbelief of a young life gone too soon. It's just the fact that it's sad, it's sickening. Uh, he always comes by my house asking if he could catch a, a kitten off my front porch, which we have a lot of kittens. We see him every day walk by and he was always by himself. Eight-year-old Martonio Wilder will no longer walk through the neighborhood looking to play with animals. Neighbors want justice. You know, it's sickening that you know something happened, but you walking around neighbors house to house to see if you seen my son. And, and you know what really happened to your son. That's sickening. According to the court documents, Martonio suffered a deep neck compression. New records from the Department of Public Safety show police were called to her home 13 times over the last 18 months. Earlier in June, police were there responding to a disturbance. CPD was also called to her home three times for domestic violence, twice for domestic disputes, and even for a stabbing. I think everybody feels like they, they played a part in the failure. LaShonda and Martonio's family members telling us they tried to help. Sometimes we were literally begging to step in and be there, and she was really stubborn. Martonio's cousin sharing her concern that she didn't see the signs that something was terribly wrong. I missed it. This has opened my eyes in so many ways you guys have not don't even understand. A police said both Lowe and Wilder turned themselves in at Columbus Police Headquarters. But our cameras were at Lowe's home where there was a big police presence. Neighbors say Lowe was just taken into custody there. She was handcuffed. Um, they came in, patted her down, and shortly thereafter, they came and took her away. New reports we obtained Tuesday confirmed she was arrested at her home Saturday afternoon after she called police saying she wanted to talk to detectives. Yes, ma'am, what's your name? This is John Alarm, I'm ready to talk to the district. For the eight-year-old that was found dead in his mom's house, I'm the, I'm the girlfriend. Okay, we'll get him out there, just wait for us. I'm here waiting, I'm here waiting, I'm okay. ready to talk. It, I don't have no weapon, I don't have nothing, that's why I'm calling y'all to come and get me. I don't need no guns, drawers, or nothing, I have no weapon. I ain't did nothing, I did. No, I, I 
understand. Here are the documents we got from the prosecutor's office. Both women face a list of charges including murder, abuse of a corpse, assault, child endangering, and tampering with evidence. Ms. Wilder admits to locking Martoni and Mikel inside a small coat closet where they slept at night so they could not sneak out for food. Attorneys also say the two women admitted to using an extension cord to choke Martonio and that they beat him on June 26th, just two days before his body was found in a trash bag in the attic of Wilder's Milo Brogan home. He don't even know why his mom is beating him with a rock. And then on top of that, Nobody then you know, strangling with cords. Are you serious? The family says they saw signs of abuse, pointing out they would see LaShonda treating Martonio differently than her other two children. She always kept him in the corner. He's always in the corner. Everybody else is always playing and doing. I'm like, what he done did now? Oh, he done stole. Like, what he steal? Some food? He's probably hungry. We know Franklin County Children's Services has been involved with the family since May of 2022 and offered several support resources to LaShonda. The family tells us the caseworker allegedly did not follow through. Here, go for counseling. Here, do that. But did y'all follow up? Did y'all check up on that? No, y'all did not. Y'all should have removed them babies from the home.